Hi, this is Marcia, and this is part four of the keys to deploying small group instruction. To this video is going to focus in on check-ins. That's right. Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're going to be talking about how to check in with the students when they come to your small group and how by checking in with the students can increase student engagement, ownership, and give you more time to meet the students. Let's begin. So this is part four. In part one, we talked about how all students should get a small group instruction within that 45 minutes. And then we talked about the time amounts, how time amounts would vary depending on which group of students you're working with. Then we talked about prerequisites, how prerequisites could really help to enhance the lesson by giving students to work on something before they come to your small group. Now we're going to be talking about check-ins. A check-in is where the teacher will take time to ask questions, answer questions, check to see how the students are doing. And the check-ins will actually gain time because there will be less interruptions from students asking, what do I need to do? And less interruptions from students saying, did I get the answers right? So a check-in is, re check is really valuable. So what is a check-in? A check-in is where the teacher takes time to sign off on the checklist. They look to see what studios were completed, and they might even start to prioritize saying, okay, I see you got this one done. Hey, go ahead and next go into independent practice after you leave my small group. So signing off on the checklist, either signing off or giving stamps, is one really good way to check in with the students on getting that pulse about how they're doing on the other studios. Also, a check-in is a great time to ask the students, hey, how are you doing? Uh, how are you doing today? Like, what's going on? Hey, I'm seeing you're not getting much of your work done. Did you stay up late last night? Hey, how was your track meet? Hey, how was your softball game? Giving the opportunity for the students to actually answer some of those key questions as a check-in process is going to build your relationships and it's going to decrease off-task behavior because they know you're going to be looking at their checklist when they come to your small group. Another thing that you want to do during check-ins is answer any questions these students might have. Let's say that a student is really struggling with question two. And you're like, okay, I see you need help with question two. Let me just give you one little tip and trick to answer that. And if that doesn't work, say, hey, before you go back to work on your other studios, I'm going to work one-on-one -on -one with you. So you can give one-on-one -on -one answer question sessions or do a quick little, hey, guys, this is what you might need to answer this part of that studio. Another thing is check-ins take time, but I don't want you to take too much time to do this. It's literally, I'll set 30 seconds to one minute on my timer. Hey guys, we got check-ins for this amount of time and that timer goes off, we're going right into the content. My small group is really where I'm gonna be teaching, reteaching, and enhancing that lesson. So I don't wanna spend a lot of time on those other tasks, but I know the value of a check-in. I'm going to really squish the off-task behavior because I'm going to know right away what the kids are doing and I'm going to be able to give them instant feedback, which in return increases student engagement and ownership. All right, part four, check-ins. Give it a try. I'm sure it's going to enhance your small group lessons.